Hello, I'm Thomas Fox. Today I am talking about cancer. Maybe some of you, you know, if you look at my older videos and some history in the company. Um, I used to have cancer. Well, used to have. Cancer doesn't just come out of the blue at the day when you're diagnosed with it, nor does it go away the second you are you receive chemotherapy and radiation and you have your surgery. That also depends on cancer, on the type of cancer, and the treatments are differently uh, as well. And by the way, disclaimer, always go to your doctor. I'm not a doctor. I don't know what your case is, what your situation is, but I can only speak about myself. Okay, so about myself, uh, I had colon cancer or was diagnosed with rectal colon cancer that was removed and I'm doing really well. That was like seven plus years ago. So everything is well now, of course, I'm trying to better myself with better nutrition. Uh, very recently I was diagnosed by a doctor with, it's not cancer yet, but if you look at it very carefully, right here, okay, I'm, I'm putting antifungal, um, well, let's see here, if you can see that, different angles with the light, closer, further, anyway, so it's not something that I'm overly concerned Necessarily, I have it on a couple different spots and the doctor has said, well, it's a precancerous state and he wants to freeze it. Um, well, and I'm going to let him do that and I'm going to show you a video of that. I'm not going to film the doctor doing it because I'm not sure he will let me do it for liability reasons. But I'll ask. Uh, anyway, so I learned in, uh, in time by rereading many different things that there is several different cancer remedies. Now FDA pay close attention. Cancer remedies, okay? Not my, I mean, just go and go on Google. May not believe it. I'm not making the claim that it's gonna heal you, but these are certain type of things. Cabbage is one of them, yellow cabbage. Um, cucumber is another one. I don't have cabbage here right now uh, or sauerkraut. I have it, but I'm not going to put it in my smoothie quite yet today. And I'm going to make a smoothie and you're going to see it. Oh, sorry. don't mean to threaten you with this cannoli here with this cucumber. Um, red beet is another one. Garlic is another one. Uh, well, if we are right that cancer is associated or is actually fungus, fungus among us, sounds funny, then it ought to be treatable with antifungal matters. And you know, I had this, this thing right here. Um, you still can see the brown spot, but it completely disappeared um, by me putting on uh, antifungal remedies like rosemary oil, peppermint oil, eucalyptus oil, glove. Uh, is very strong by the way it makes your hand all white after a while because it dries but anyways about the smoothie uh, let me just show you what I'm putting in and these are some of them are known cancer remedies uh, I don't know which cancer and oncologists may disagree with me and they said ah, you know get this drug fox out of my sight or whatever hey they spent a lot of money on their education. We ought to give them some credit, and I'm very grateful for modern uh, medicine. Uh, but at the same time, I'm still gonna drink my green smoothies because I know what it did to me down in my colon, that it helped me a lot. Um, and I'm not gonna get into detail there because, you know, colon subjects are not, they're very frowned on these days. Anyway, so I have in my smoothie, by the way, I'm using an old blend tech, which is a K-Tech, a Champ K-Tech blender with an Alterna jar. And I'm putting two cups of water in there, Alterna jar. And you will see that more often. I used to sell blenders. I don't sell them anymore. We're making now uh, aftermarket jars for various different high-powered, high-end um, smoothie machines, uh, blenders, high-performance blenders. Blend tech one being one of them. And so this is a section of red beet I'm gonna put in there. That's gonna make everything um, very, very, very uh, red. And then I'm gonna put the smaller section of the cucumber in there. And then I'm going to put, this is approximately a half or one third of a grapefruit. That's another one of those 
remedies. Carrot, of course, and the carrot was this long. It's a, it's a small one, uh, but I'm, I don't want to make it. I don't know how to describe it. I don't want too much of the carrot in there. Uh, half an apple, some a celery stick, and um, I am a banana boy. <laughs> Sorry, you know, the monkey, the monkey in all of us. You can't talk me out of the banana. I have read, and I don't believe it. They say you're gonna gain weight if you eat a lot of banana. I don't know, they said the same thing about cholesterol. It's bad. I eat eggs just about every day. And my cholesterol is high. Nah, medium high. I don't know why. I don't know what they're talking about. Okay, all right, I need a spoon, excuse me. Stepping in front of the camera. I'm gonna put in some peanut butter. Ah, oh, peanut butter, no. Uh, almond butter. Sorry, I'm looking a little bit to the side because there is my camera. I ought to look in the, into the camera. There's a picture over there. So anyway, apologize if I confuse you there. So I'm just gonna put, look how honey-like this uh, almond butter is. It's really, really, really delicious. I blended that on a Waring MX 3.5 horsepower blender, the best blender in my opinion. Why am I not using it? I can think. I can hear you thinking that thought. I have so many blenders, all in my garage. This is just something I'm, because I want to show the char working on the Blendtec blender right now. That's why, really, because it fits nicely. And if you do happen to have a Blendtec blender, I'd like to sell you one. Um, and I need. Okay, so this is more than a cup of mixed frozen fruits, and I don't make this smoothie just for myself. I put just about two cups of in there. Um, berries, berries. This is it. I buy that at yeah. You can tell where I buy that. Costco is so lucky that I'm giving them a free advertising. Yeah. Costco, Costco is for members only, by the way. I am not a member. My wife is. Alrighty, so, and then I need spinach. I put spinach into every, just about every smoothie. Not, I may have to add some more water. Now look at this, how full this is. I mean, you, you ought to get a, a real good look on that, of that. I need my lid. The lid, make sure the lid is closed, like that. You put it on like that. Uh, let's see if I need. To have, I'm gonna put it on, on the number two on the champ. I may need a tamper. Hold on a second. Need a tamper. Okay. Tampa's just gonna make it easier. If it's that cool, I don't need a Tampa. I maybe I will blend it twice because it's not long enough. Those berries are pretty strong, and uh, look, it's already done. So we're gonna. Make like to get them all out. Sometimes I put uh, yogurt in there, Greek yogurt, delicious. Now, anyways, the point is, if you have health concerns, the least, if you are at least overweight like me, I, I am, um, at least do something good for your body. Now I'm yelling at you. Um, I'm gonna blend it one more time. And then it will be about 60 seconds total. I really want it very smooth. As you can tell. Hi, 
I would love it if it did beep, but it does not beep. So let's put this up here again. And let's hope that the freezing of that precancerous thing is, is gonna help. And by the way, I don't like wearing suits all the time when I'm on video and I'm not really doing it for that. I went to some ecclesiastical event. So, salute. Let me tell you what I can taste. You know what? It's actually pretty tasty. Uh, there's some bitterness in there. Bitterness! Uh, because of the grapefruit. You wanna bet on it? Anyways, there's the recipe. Uh, the recipe. The recipe task is this. And there's a time limit on it. I, any claim you may have, if it's not valid anymore, I refuse to keep my promise, right? So, subject to time limit. If you can make a smoothie and a recipe with my alterna jar, oh, with the jar, oh, there, with the alterna jar, if you own it and you make a smoothie, something that's really delicious and has really healthy stuff in it, no sugar, Hmm. I'm gonna give you 20 bucks. How about that? Okay, and you have to post it on YouTube. Have a wonderful day. Fight your cancer with a positive attitude. Um, and consider cancer maybe fungus among us. Maybe. Have a wonderful day. Ah, where's my button there?